What's up? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? What's up, Next Level? How's it going today? I had to come on today and kind of address some things that I see happen on the page. Um, that's kind of disturbing. And, you know, the other day when I put up the uh, Mid-State Bison Jamboree recap video, and I said that there's room for improvement, even myself. Uh, there's still room for improvement on a lot of other stuff, too. Um, I'm going to try not to be long. I just want to get straight to the point. Now, some things I'm going to say are going to probably rub some people the wrong way. Some things are going to go over their head. Some people are going to understand. Some people are going to relate. Some don't know how to relate for what I'm going to tell you. So, I'm going to get straight to the point. On the lead page in the Next Level Football Alliance, all right? Vulgar language, derogatory terms, addressing each other in negative ways is pretty much forbidden. Uh, not allowed, okay? Uh, I think Ms. Bell done stressed that a lot. But we got to change, like uh, Coach uh, Clinton from the Bison said, we got to change our mindset on a lot of stuff. Now, let me get straight to the point on what I'm trying to tell you. Using the N-word freely, <laughs> like you in the club, or shooting dice at the club, finding up at the club, or whatever, not over here. Not over here. Not, not, it, we, we can't... I, I hate to say the word, as a lot of y'all know, as long as I've been posting on this page or whatever, you ain't really heard me say not one curse word. I might have said ass one time or something like that. I don't know if you said damn. But now on my page, I'm going to say what I want to say because it's my page. I pay the bill. But over here on the Next Level Football Alliance page, the NLFA, it's a whole different ball game. This page is not my page. I'm affiliated with this league. I'm the general manager of this league, but this is not my page. I still have a boss and I got a responsibility, okay? Just like a lot of you owners out there, you got a responsibility. And a lot of you coaches out there, you got a lot of responsibility. Just like you players out there, you got a lot of responsibility. Just like I got a position and a lot of responsibility also. We got to stop using the N word. Like, like it's the way of life. And some of y'all probably gonna get offended about it, get mad about it, because you want to defend it so bad. You want to be able to say nigga so bad because it's in you like that. Everybody come from different walks of life. My background may not be your background. Everybody was raised different. I'm 56 years old. You look good, though. I'm 56 years old. And I grew up in the 70s and 80s, okay? I come from a civil rights family. We had to march on the news all the time, uh, fighting racism, stuff like that. Uh, receiving death threats at our house when I'm in first, second, third grade. They'll call the phone and ring me and ask the phone, you know, grandparents upstairs. So we, hello, gonna kill y'all niggas. We'll say, go to hell, and hang the phone up and keep on playing and hope that our grandparents in here say that. You know what I'm saying? I, I grew up in this stuff. But let me address some stuff real, real. Let me get to the point. Look, man, the majority of the Next Level Football Alliance is made up probably over, over 95, 98% African-American males. All right? In the United States, African-Americans make up only 13% of the American population. All right? In America... African Americans make up 37% or higher of the prison system. All right? Play with them numbers in your mind. We only make up 13% of the American population, the United States population. All right? Play with the numbers if you know how to count. In the prison system, we make it up over 37% incarcerated. We're going to have to change our mindset for real. All right, we can't, please do not come back on the page again saying nigga this, nigga that, nigga this, nigga that. 
I'm talking to the now the people who understand what I'm saying. Y'all slide to the side real quick. People who don't understand what I'm saying, why well, I gotta go low with you? So you gotta understand. You can't come on this page saying puss ass nigga, bitch ass nigga, fuck nigga, nigga nigga nigga. Not over here. I don't know where you come from, and I don't care. You don't know where I came from, and you don't care. But over here on the next level football alliance, we're not going down that road. We're taking stuff to the next level, baby. And I'm not talking about going backwards to a lower level. I want to see everybody shine. But we got to have discipline and structure in this league and on this page, and it's going to be that way. If you got a problem with that, you already know what time it is. Ta-da. So let's refrain from that. And let and uh, don't don't get me wrong now. I ain't perfect. Ain't nobody used the word nigga more than Andy. Growing up. And as a teenager. And in the military. Ain't nobody used that word more than me. Now I hate that word the same way uh, a snake hate gas. Snake don't like no gas. I hate that word. I hate that I was such an idiot and a fool growing up being miseducated and dumb and not knowing that I had self-esteem problems and low respect for myself. I thought I was all cool and stuff. Yeah, man, what's up? But nigga, yeah, nigga, that, nigga, that, that. But when I matured and started reading my own history, I, I, I felt embarrassed. I felt stupid. I felt silly. I felt ignorant. I felt dumb. Name it. Damn it, I felt it. Because I saw how dumb I was using that term so freely. Identify myself as that. Identify my brother as that. Identify my people that look like me like that. Look, let me break down to you something. Hold on. Look, check this clip out right here. Check this clip out right here. Just check this clip out right here. You'll see it by three minutes, but then check it out if you know what I'm talking about. Christ, what a stink, Captain. What did you bring, a cargo of rotten meat? What do you mean? This is all prime beef. They stink because they eat like pigs, then they vomit all over themselves. Long voyage? 95 days from the Ivory Coast. Whew. Don't you ever take them up on deck for a little fresh air? With all the frigates nosing around these waters like hungry dogs? Times have changed, Mr. Sims, now that our damn Yankee government considers this cargo contraband. <laughs> they catch me with even one nigger on board. It's up the rope I go, and I wouldn't be the first. They're bound to rot away down there in that cesspool. Not on your life. Aboard my ship, hygiene's the rule. That means a clean ship, clean cargo. When one of them gets took bad, I don't wait till he plagues the others. No, sir. It's into the brining with them, then and there. Captain Wicks delivers the goods in perfect condition. Anyone can tell you that. How many head you got? 326, including the wench. <laughs> this batch is all stagnant. No syphilis, and they've all busting with seed. But look how rested they are. I travel some comfort. Each one got a space six foot by two foot. Why, they can even turn around. Now, uh, real stallion. Every night they so hot for pleasure and they all humping each other like a pack of dogs. And chains don't stop no how. And here's the winches. All of them got pups and near all is pregnant again. How many? 112. You go $300 each? You touched Captain? You know I don't buy by the head, I buy by the pound. Oh, all right. Say $200. By the pound, I said. Hey, what are you doing, drowning them? I told you, rule number one, hygiene. Three showers a day, salt water kills their fleas and lice. Then you ring them and hang them out to dry, I reckon. <laughs> God almighty, what a pest hole. That's diarrhea. Just busting with help, ain't they, you old pirate? It happened now and then, but we know how to cure it. The usual cure? It's the oldest and the surest. Sugar cane plug, oakum, and tar. And bam, ram it in hard. Keeps the bowels locked up tight and the soul from escaping from the back door. How come he don't blow up? Cork will pop out first, just like a bottle of champagne. <laughs> hey, what's that slop? Well, that's molasses and beef grease. Diggers goes crazy for them. Have to trust them and feed them a little at a time, otherwise they'd choke themselves on it. Looking at him, you wouldn't think so. That one, he's taken into his head to starve himself to death. A real pitiful case. 
Hey, Doc, chisel, hammer, and file. Go ahead and serve dinner. Let's say $150 a head. You're just breaking wind again. By the pound, I said. The whole cargo to dollar a pound. Two dollars. Dollar twenty-five. Dollar seventy-five. Dollar fifty. So, I'll regret it, but it's a dick. I, I think the point I'm trying to get to is we're going to have to elevate our minds. We're going to have to educate ourselves because we're living in a country that really denied African Americans the true history of America. You got to learn it on your own, like I did. I'm not the smartest man in the world, but I do know this. I'm not the dumbest man in the world like I used to be back in the day. I'm not. Whatever your belief is, uh, whoever your God is, I don't care if your God is Jesus Christ. I don't care if your God is Yahweh. I don't care if your God is Allah. I don't care if your God is the Elohim. I don't care if your God is Amun-Ra. I don't care if your God is Buddha. I don't care if your God is the Anunnaki. Ask your God to help you to become a better person. Because to keep it simple and plain, if you made it this far in your life and you still alive, and you able to play football in this league, you can't tell me and you can't argue with me that you don't know the difference between right and wrong and you made it this far. You can't tell me that you don't know the difference between right and wrong and you alive this long to make it this far. Whether you're 17, 18 and on up. So with all that being said, let's keep the negatory, the negative terms and the derogatory language, man, off of this page. It's not going down like that over here in the next level, Football Alliance. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. And if you want to hang on to that, you want to be God, you want to identify yourself as a nigga, and if you want to identify your brothers as a nigga, then you need to go find another league. Hey, go find a nigga league, because this ain't it. We're going to the next level in this league. And I, look, I got pride, and then sometimes I ain't got no pride. I'm going to tell you something that some of y'all probably need to hear that you ain't probably heard in a long ass time. A lot of y'all don't even know me. I would love to meet you. I don't know you like that. A lot of y'all see me on this camera, but I don't know you, but I know you here. I ain't ashamed to tell you on this camera or to your face. That brother, I love you. Brother, I want to see the best for you. Brother, I want you to grow. Brother, I want you to shine. I ain't ashamed to tell you that. I'm what you call a man. I cuss that time. That's what I am. I don't come from a little boy. I'm a man now. Huh? I done been through some things that made me swallow my pride. I got enough man in me to, to tell you to your face or on this camera. I want to see you shine. And I love you, brother. Oh, my God. 